In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Intel CPU of your desktop PC. So here I got an Intel i9 CPU that I'm going to install in my Dell desktop. This is a Dell Inspiron 3671. And I'm going to show you most importantly how to choose the CPU that is compatible with your motherboard. So let's start. To find out which CPU is compatible with your motherboard, you need to get the chipset version. So to get the chipset version, you need to install a software called Hardware Info. To do this, open your web browser and go to hwinfo.com. Let me maximize this. Click on free download, close the advertisement if you have one. And then here you have installer, portable and DOS. We need the portable. So here under portable, you always have like an ad, just ignore it and click on free download and choose the content delivery network you want. Here I'm going to choose the first one. And here it will take you to this page. And here simply you have hardware info portable. Click on it. And the download begins. It's a zip file. So once it is downloaded, you need to open the location. And then let's unzip it. So right click on it and choose extract all. And just choose extract here. And it will extract it here. Now double click the hardware info 64. Of course, if you have the 32-bit version of Windows, double click the 32-bit one and then click on yes. Let me minimize all these windows. And here, click on run. And let me close this one here. And you see here you have motherboard. So this here, we determined that our motherboard chipset is B365. So let me minimize this. And here, because it's an Intel CPU, Let's go to intel.com. So on your web browser, go to intel.com. And then here you need to click on products. And under products here, you have chipsets on the right. So under chipsets, click on desktop. And here click on products. And the generation. So we determined that we have a B365 chipset which means it's a 300 generation so click on all generations and select intel 300 series desktop chipsets and you see here we see all the chipsets that start with the number three and this is our chipset here intel b365 chipset so click on it and now you have something here called compatible products and this is the most important part. Click on it and you'll get all the compatible CPUs with your chipset. So for me, I have an Intel i5-9400. So it is here and I bought an Intel i9-9900 and it is here. So it is compatible. And here you notice that after the CPU, you have some letters. Let me explain them to you. So in my case, I bought the i9-9900 without any letter after it. So this means that this is a CPU with an integrated graphics card. The KF means, the K means that this CPU can be overclocked. And the F, it means that it doesn't have an integrated graphics card. And the K only means that this is an overclockable CPU. So how did I choose the i9-9900? I chose it by the wattage that I have currently on my PC. So if you go back to hardware info and we go to central processor here and you see that I have an Intel Core i5-9400 as I told you. If you click on it, you see the wattage here. So this is the thermal design power. It is 65 watt and I advise you to always get a CPU which has the same wattage. So here if I click on it, you're going to see that it has the same TDP as the CPU that I have now. So let's try to click on something else. So let me try to click on the overclockable CPU. And you see that it has 30 watts more than what I have now. So I prefer to get one with the same wattage. And this is why I chose the 9900 because I need the integrated GPU 
and I want to keep the same wattage. So now that we chose the CPU, let's go and install it in our PC. The first step is to update the BIOS of your PC and this is very important so that your PC can recognize the new CPU. So here in my Dell I have something called Dell Support Assist. So it might be different depending on the model of your PC or even if it is like a PC that you built yourself. You can go to the motherboard manufacturer website and update your BIOS. So here I'm gonna update the BIOS of my Dell. So I clicked on run for getting drivers and downloads. To perform the installation, you need some items. You need some rubbing alcohol and a disposable paper towel so that when you remove the CPU cooler, you can clean up the thermal paste. And you need thermal paste in case your CPU didn't come with a cooler that has pre-applied thermal paste. And it's better always also to have like an anti-static band and this is to avoid damage to the CPU from a static discharge. If you don't have an anti-static band, it's not a big deal. Just make sure to touch the chassis of your desktop while you are manipulating the CPU. So here my CPU is under the CPU cooler and the shroud. So let me remove the shroud first. And this is very easy. Usually they have like a pin, the shrouds. And here, this is the first pin, this is the second pin, and this is the third pin. So the CPU, of course, is always under a CPU cooler. We need to remove the CPU cooler. It has mine four screws. So just remove the screws. And it's always better to remove the screws diagonally. So this is the first one, this is the second one. So this is my CPU cooler. The CPU cooler is attached to the motherboard. So this is the power it gets from it. So this is the CPU cooler removed. And you see the thermal paste here. So first I'm going to clean it with a tissue without the rubbing alcohol to see if it goes off. So it is a bit hard, so I'm going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to remove it. I'm going to do the same also on the CPU. Let me now clean the CPU. Make sure that to not put too much rubbing alcohol. You don't want rubbing alcohol to go into the CPU socket. And this is very important in case you want to sell your CPU uh, or you want to install it afterwards. So this is a CPU clean. So now to remove the CPU here, this is the CPU. You have this here handle. You just push it down like this and out. And it just removes like this. And here you remove the CPU door and remove the CPU carefully and I advise you do not touch the contact points of the CPU so these are the contact points of the CPU do not touch them and the same here do not touch the contact points also on your motherboard put the old CPU somewhere safe and let's open the new one so this is my new CPU. I'm unboxing it right now. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to cover my PC so that to avoid something going in it. So this is the CPU cooler. And this is the CPU here. And you see here the CPU cooler. So this is the stock one that came with the Dell. I'm gonna keep it. I prefer it for the one that comes with the Intel CPU. So I'm gonna put this aside here. And to install the CPU, it's very easy. First open it, handle it with care. So this here, if you can see the inscription, it says i9-9900. So just don't touch the contact points. And you have here like a small triangle. And you have the same small triangle here. 
so it should go like this anyways it has keys so it couldn't go wrong so it is like this you just put it and you see the small arrow here went into place and you simply put this back on like that and this is the handle push it down it's a bit hard and then push it in and this is the CPU installed so now I'm gonna apply the thermal paste on my CPU you have many ways to apply it some people like to apply like a cross here but I like to apply only like a pea size here on the CPU so I'm gonna do it now just in the middle of the CPU not to overdo it this is enough so now we need to install the CPU cooler of course after I cleaned all the thermal paste here from the contact surface so make sure to align it because it's better not to move it after you put the thermal paste so that not to remove the thermal paste so make sure the screws are aligned and just put it once so now the screws are aligned and here it is installed so let me tighten it now and as always tighten it a little bit on top and then a little bit on the bottom always diagonally and now let's connect the CPU fan so I still need to install the shroud and the shroud here in my Dell has a direction so this is rear facing it should be installed like this so let me install it here and here it is installed at the end a very important thing to do is to enable hyper threading in case your old CPU didn't support hyper threading and the new CPU that you installed supports hyper threading hyper threading would be disabled in the BIOS and you will lose a big performance from the CPU if you don't enable hyper threading so this is my case here once I started the PC I went into the BIOS I selected hyper thread control under performance and then I enabled hyper thread control and this way I will be benefiting fully from the speed of this CPU and this concludes the CPU upgrade video I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.